everyone welcome back to Darvish YouTube channel today we are going to talk about what are the asset properties so A stands for atomicity C stands for consistency I stand for isolation and D stands for durability now let's talk about what is atomicity atomicity ensures that a transaction is treated as a single it means that either all the operations within the transactions are successfully completed or none of them are applied at all. Now let's look at the example. Let's say customer A sends money customer B 10,000. Now there will be two scenarios. The two scenarios will be the money is credited to customer B. So if the money is successfully credited to the customer B account, the transactions will be show completed and the database reflect the changes but let's say if the system failure or error due to during the transaction the money is not debited from the customer account and the system will roll back to this original state now what does it mean the atomicity show ensure that all or nothing exceptions in the transactions now let's talk about what is consistency Consistency ensures a transactions bring the database from one bad state to another while maintaining the integrity of the data and following all the defined rules. Now let's look at the example. Let's say customer A wants to withdraw 15,000 but the account's balance is only 10,000. Now what happened? The system will verify the withdrawal amount exceeded the balance. And then the transactions fail due to the inefficient balance and the database remain in a constant state. Now, what the consistency says? The consistency ensures that database adheres rules and no invalid data is written or left incomplete. Now, let's talk about what is isolation. Isolation ensures that two transactions do not interface with each other two or more transactions each transaction execute as if it is where the only transaction in the system now let's talk about with the example let's say there's a two customer a and b both are trying to send 5000 to an account right now let's say we have uh, let's say the creditor have a zero balance now both have deposited the five uh, five thousand simultaneously in a creditor amount so after processing both deposit the balance will be reflect around 10,000 it shows that deposit has successfully now isolation ensured that the final state remain in the data set where executed sequentially or concurrently now let's talk about what is durability durability guarantees that once a transaction is committed and changes are permanent even in the event of a system crash or a failure now let's look at the example customer a initiated transfer uh, transfer to a account if the system crash afterwards the transaction is going to be still saved and will not be lost then there will be two ways the transaction will be restored that ensure that its effect the reflected in the database or the transactions saved in the database as a into the server now durability ensure that committed data persist and is reliable no matter what happened to the system so that's all about the asset properties i hope you guys like the video if you want more interesting video follow for more